All right, continuing on the same line for our scenario, I, you would have already seen the introduction videos in which I talked about it, stimulus and response theory. So applying it here, so what all the components should our robot consist of? Let's say this is the line here on the floor, the black colored line, and your robot will be like situated here, and your robot will be having some four wheels on it here, okay, to move on the line, to traverse the path, Okay, and your robot should consist of sensors for stimulus, right? To uh, so what are the what do the sensors actually do? They actually you know differentiate between a non-line. Let's say this is the white surface here, and uh, let's say we have white surface all over here. So white, 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 white all over here, and let's say this is the black surface, the line. The line is actually the black surface. So your sensors should be able to differentiate between the white surface from the black surface. Okay, so white surroundings and black surface of the line should be differentiated by your sensors in the robot. So that is the actual stimulus of the robot. Of course, the response will be the movement of these motors, right? So just so that the robot makes decisions and traverses paths, etc. So what we'll do is on our robot, the, on below of the robot. I mean, uh, on the down part of the robot, in the frontal part. So we'll fix some, let's say, three sensors. One here, one here on the middle, and one here in the right. Okay. So these sensors, which we'll be using, will be infrared uh, line sensors. Okay. So those sensors will be able to differentiate the white part the, from the black part. Okay. So we'll be looking at an algorithm with uh, by using three sensors, and uh, we'll be uh, constructing. A truth table uh, for our logic design. Okay, first we'll be looking uh, to forward to make our basic robot using logic gates. Uh, all right. So for that we'll be writing up a truth table and uh, we'll be having uh, the output functions of the motors, which are controlled by the input functions of the sensors. So the sensors will have an input values, a set of values here. And the motor output values will be uh, uh, written according to our wish here. Okay, this will be our true table format. So this is how we will actually proceed now.